four, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranchin here. Bring on stock of commentary. It's going to be round of 16, Group B, Avalon Cell. The first set, Iris up against Hwasen. Very excited here, but before we do anything else, let's get colors in position out of the way here on Carthage 3. We're going to have here at 11 o'clock as the Teal Terror, Terran Hwasen. Teal Terror Hwasen. And downstairs at the 5 o'clock, we're going to have, of course, as the Purple Terran by process of elimination. The Purple Terror is going to be Iris, the Berserker. So the Red Sniper up against the Berserker on Carthage 3, two player map. And I've seen quite a few exciting uh, TVTs on this map, uh, particularly back when it was Carthage 1. I saw some very fun TVTs that were forced because of the short distance between uh, the players' bases. We've got a, had a, a lot of heavy vulture aggression. We're going to see how it plays out here. Well, there are going to be huge differences. Or what? Uh, Iris apparently thinking of going for a wall off or what? No, setting out an SCV rather? Okay, never mind. Forward racks coming in from Iris, most likely. Um, no, he decided to go for something funky because he did not yet put... Okay, he does put down his supply depot inside of his base, so he's going to put out a rather forward barracks. We're going to see what he actually tries to plant it as close to Hwasen's base, close enough that it can almost be counted as a cheese. We're going to see what he does. And Hwasen has just not built his own supply depot, so I'm assuming he's going to be putting down his racks fairly soon. You look at the statistics, uh, this is Hwasen's second best matchup at 51%. His rug being his worst at just under 50. And this is actually Iris's best matchup. Iris is 55 at pretty much all of his matchups, but this TVT is 56%. So this is Iris's best matchup. Iris is now going to go inside, try to harass this SCV building the racks from Hwasen, but not going to be too successful. Uh, Hwasen also not putting his, down his refineries, so his factory is going to be coming down fairly soon. And apparently Iris did not put down... Okay, Iris is actually going to go for a 14cc. He just sent out a very early scout just to make sure that Hwasen wasn't going for anything funky and to possibly try to lay down some SCV harassment. But Iris actually spotting the position that Hwasen was in and deciding to go for a 14cc. Trying to take, just trying to take a massive economic advantage here, and of course he having that SCV inside he can run around, harass, prevent stuff from coming up a little too fast, you know, force some SCVs off. Not being too successful with that because Watson playing very defensively, but with Iris now putting down his racks and the long distance between the two bases, the rather long distance between the two bases, I don't think. Juan's going to be able to accomplish much if he tried to go for some sort of SCV aggression. And Juan hasn't even, even sent out an SCV scout yet, so he doesn't really have any idea of what Iris is doing. Just now sending out an SCV scout's coming down to the south to spot what Iris is going for. And Juan's going to have to go for a factory, one fact into expansion. Also, just to prevent Iris from being too aggressive. And Iris actually now going to put an SCV, apparently trying to hide the behind the minerals, most likely so the Marine will be able to get to it. Marine is going to run just close to those minerals, not going to spot the SCV, so it's going to be forced back, so Iris there was smart play, hiding the SCV away. Factory almost up for Hwasen, and for Hwasen floating his racks away instantly now, just going to put down his command center. Maybe Iris is exactly thinking of hiding the SCV so he can start harassing the SCV that's building the command center just in time. Hwasen now has his own SCV inside of Iris' base, so he's going to spot the Iris. Did go for early, rather early expansion, and just now starting to put down his factory. We're going to see what the Hwasen actually manages to harass that a little bit. Does not quite manage to. We're going to see what he's going to do there. Iris now finally with his SCV on the move. We're going to see what actually tries to do some harassment. And Hwasen, of course, being forced to play... Economically, he's going to be forced to play catch up a little bit. He's going to have a few more units out in the field fairly soon, and Iris is now going to finally lose his SCV to the first initial vulture. Quasin getting a vulture before anything else. Assume he's going to be putting down his machine shop fairly soon. Bunker actually down for Iris, so Iris knowing that he's a little bit vulnerable. There is a vulture on the way, so he's going to use this bunker kind of as a like Zergs put down sunken colonies to prevent early vulture harassment. He's putting down a bunker exactly for the same reason. He's going to put the marine inside of that and one, maybe two marines is going to be able to prevent the vulture from sneaking in there. The, the choke is far too small. And Watson still has SCV inside trying to do some harassment. Iris actually has two SCVs trying to run it back. So, <laughs> actually, no, there's just one now because the second SCV went out to build the second factory. But yeah, uh, Watson just being annoying with the SCV still inside. Beautiful play there by him. And of course, Iris being forced to not float his racks away because of that vulture threat. He needs 
a vulture or a tank of his own. Going for machine shot before vulture, who's going to wait for a tank of his own, most likely before he decides to float his own racks away. Playing it safe. Uh, Huasa now adding in two factories, so he's also trying to play catch up. He's going to have a few more forces on the ground, a little bit quicker than Iris, but once Iris' economy kicks in, and he's also going for a third factory right now, once Iris' economy properly kicks in, he's going to be a little bit ahead, and he's going to have a couple more units on the ground, as long as he doesn't use lose them, that is. And yeah, we saw the polls just a second ago, and apparently 70... 3% I think it said thought that Iris would take it, well, well, thought Hwasin would take it, while well, only 27% thought Iris would take it. Uh, when I went along and looked at different forums and different websites such as TeamLiquid.com and um, SC2GG.com, I'm sorry, TeamLiquid.net, um, sorry, going to get flamed for that most likely, uh, but yeah, TeamLiquid.net and SC2GG.com, which is um, the website that I'm a member of. When I went to look at those sites, apparently most people thought that Iris would actually take this set 2-1. to one. We're going to see, but I think most people are do agree on the fact that these guys are very evenly matched. Iris has a more aggressive style of play, even though he's not really showing it there. Is getting almost gets one of his vultures killed, and <laughs> speed kicks in also just in time for him to escape with a vulture, but is going to get killed before it manages to get a full-on scout. But Hwasin going very heavy on vultures. He should have some speed. I think he already has mines. Uh, should have speed up fairly soon as well, and Iris also going very heavy. Uh, Vulture has several Vultures down the field, 4th Factory you now coming down for Hwasin. But yeah, both players going very heavy on the Vultures. Iris has speed before mines, and speed also coming in now for Hwasin. Both players are gonna, just going to be on speed, and it's all going to come down to who managed to take out the Vulture group of the other. Once the two Vulture groups engage each other, the Vulture group that falls, and the one that survives is going to be able to just run inside and do a lot of harassment. Two more Raxes coming in from Iris, so he's going all out just on two bases, has Vultures producing from most of them. One more factory coming in for Hwasin, I believe that's his fifth, I, th I think. Right now, just camped outside of Iris's ramp, taking the high ground, and Iris is waiting for the number he needs to go up and start pushing in, I think. Hwasin just holding that bridge, has those vultures separated, almost like uh, Zerg players spread their vultures over their own ramps. But yeah, both players have heavy, heavy vulture production, and I think Iris is just going to wait for a slightly larger number until he decides to push out, because of course Hwasin has a much longer resupply route. And or, of course you can also tell Iris is not getting a second gas going, so he's just focusing on the vultures for now. He's going to try to get some of the with, the with these, and I think once he knows that he's done enough harassment, he might go and tech up, get some tanks, maybe even get a starport, get some dropship play going. But a lot of vultures right now, and actually TVT gets very exciting when players go for this heavy vulture play. The engagement is, is imminent, and just now Iris can test the defenses, try to push one vulture in, it gets instantly killed, so... Of course, has uh, once those two forces engage, Hwasin is going to have the advantage the advantage of high ground, which means he's going to get the first shot. And Iris actually now testing the defense, sending a few vultures out, getting a few of them killed, but tr trying to pick off, trying to pick up those defenses. Kind of reminding me of a Zergling on Zergling battle here, except you have vultures. Machine shops now being added in for Iris, so he's apparently cutting, speaking of cutting vulture production a little bit, adding in an academy to get those comp set stations up. Uh, has actually his own racks floating right now instead of Hwasin's base with spotting what Hwasin's doing there as well. Both players have those spotting racks instead of each other's bases, I believe. And Hwasin's actually now moving a little bit outside the ramp. Now the Vultures are going to start engaging each other. I think actually Hwasin has a slightly larger number. He also has that barracks floating above the forces of Iris. Iris has one single tank to support, does not have siege, but Hwasin moving in with more Vultures. I believe he has a larger number, still pushing in, doing a lot of heavy damage. Iris is going to force Hwasin back a little bit, that one tank there's seriously helping him.